Hello everybody. Welcome to Simplified in 5. Today we are going to talk about visitor design pattern. It's very tough to complete uh, discussing visitor design pattern in 5 minutes but we are still going to try and uh, explain it in 5 minutes. So let's quickly start with the problem. So uh, basically uh, if you have a problem like you want to separate the algorithm or operation from the objects on which uh, you uh, run the algorithm then you should try visitor design pattern so basically if you get uh, the array or list of uh, various objects as input and you want to perform certain operations uh, uh, on all those objects then visitor design pattern is the one you should be looking out for uh, so let's see the uh, five key things about visitor design pattern so here uh, first you should uh, create the elements hierarchy uh, based on the elements uh, that uh, you handle in your program uh, then you should create the visitors hierarchy based on the operations uh, you want to perform on them in every elements uh, you should create a, a method called as accept uh, which will be <coughs> taking visitor as a parameter then uh, you should create uh, visitor base class with visit method for every element type uh, that you handle and uh, uh, then create derived visitor classes uh, for each operation uh, so and that those uh, derived classes will uh, override the visit method uh, for all the elements so this is the bit trickier part that you have to create uh, visit methods for all the uh, elements that you handle uh, then at the client side you would be creating uh, visitor objects and pass uh, each visitor object to accept calls on elements uh, so thus uh, you would be achieving a double dispatch because the uh, accept method call depends on the dynamic type of the uh, visitor as well as the element so let's uh, try to understand this uh, through a simple implementation so mm, let's see the element and visitor interfaces first so in element uh, class uh, you would have uh, two virtual methods let's say accept is the one uh, which will take visitor as parameter and let's say uh, you want to give the name of the element uh, that you want to uh, that you are uh, operating on uh, then in the visitor uh, interface uh, you would uh, have let's say you have two kinds of elements that you handle uh, so one is called as hospital receptionist and the other is called as housewife so you would create two visit methods uh, and these are the uh, abstract methods for uh, methods in visitor class so now uh, let's see the elements hierarchy so you know that you are going to handle two elements so you would be creating uh, two concrete classes uh, hospital receptionist and housewife and each of them would be overriding the uh, accept method so you can see that the definition of the accept method is uh, similar um, it will just call the visit method of the uh, based on the uh, visitor so and in the name uh, it will be a uh, it will be the implementation specific to that particular concrete object now uh, let's see the visitor hierarchy uh, here uh, let's say there are two uh, let's say there are two uh, kinds of visitors that you want to uh, or two kinds of operations that you want to do so there would be two classes uh, called as postman and goods carrier both one is mail carrier the other is goods carrier so in the postman uh, we will say uh, we will have two methods for uh, visiting housewife and visiting hospital receptionist and in that you would be doing uh, the uh, object specific uh, operations uh, so here you would be uh, applying logic based on the element that you are working on either hospital receptionist or the housewife so same is with the uh, goods carrier so uh, both of them will be uh, overriding both the visit methods uh, uh, because they they will be operating on two kinds of elements now finally at the client side uh, you can see uh, we have created a list of elements uh, and we want uh, 
now we want to uh, perform the operations uh, or the we want to make the visitors to visit all those elements so here we would be uh, creating a loop of elements and for each every for each element we are going to accept the visitor or we can say we are going to perform the operation so here uh, accept call depends on uh, whether i am passing the uh, postman or where i am passing whether i am passing the goods carrier it also depends on the dynamic type of the uh, current uh, element of the list uh, that i am so it could be either housewife or it could be uh, hospital receptionist so that's how you achieve the double dispatch so this is a, a very basic implementation for the uh, visitor design pattern so uh, we quickly saw the uh, problem for the vis um, problem in which you should go for visitor design pattern and we also saw the five key things and we uh, tried to cover the implementation for the visitor design pattern so thanks for watching and hope this helps